swap. Roll five beats to match three two. Okay, guys, Sloth Dance here, and welcome to Spirit Swap. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is what we're doing. It's a demo. Uh, from what I understand, it's a match three. It's about the music, too, but it also seems to have story elements. We're gonna try this story. I think it's like a romance visual novel. Yeah, cool. And it's a little weird that you need a controller. I've never done match three with a controller. You find Liam worried over a drawing while his radio plays in the background. And Hazel, his bat familiars, uh, sleeps next to it. Is there supposed to be a zebra? Uh, you're not sure that they even noticed you walking in. What you working on? Oh, so marshy looks cool. Leon. Ah! They scramble to cover up the sketchbook, but you can see a vague outline of a wing peeking out from behind his arm. No, nothing. Ah, this guy's pretty cool. Alright. Now you have to let me see it. Is it a new tattoo design? It's nothing, just just a sketch. Some finite ink striking paper. The announcer on the radio's voice startles him out of an oncoming art ramble. We should have clear skies for the rest of the week. Good thing too, with the live Hag Vision concert this weekend. Okay. Our next song is Five for Five, their new single. Uh, that will be performed live. The song starts and Leon quickly changes the station, looking embarrassed and leaving the drawing wide open. The half-inked picture of a phoenix is beautifully drawn with Leon's trademark line work and bold strokes. Can I see it? Oh wow, this is gorgeous, let me guess. It was inspired by uh, that one member of Five Hag Vision, uh, Citrine, right? The Rock and Phoenix. Like, oh, dude, beat Fangirl. Fangirl your heart out, man. Or is there another Rock and Phoenix making a tour stop in Damascus soon? These names are a bit rough, guys. Sigh. Sigh. <laughs> Perhaps it is Citrine inspired. They make some of the papers on the table and fan them out, displaying a wide variety of small designs, each clearly inspired by one of the five hag vision five. Cool. You notice there are significantly more phoenix designs. Yeah, he's got a crush. Mary might create some new flash designs for the concert coming up. It's the first time five hag vision will be in Damask, after all. He stared at the elaborate phoenix he was poring over when he walked in. Hmm. Isn't this one a little too complex for a flash design? You could use it as a poster for a concert watch party. It'd be perfect. I guess so. Kind of wanted to gift it to Citrine, though. Wait. You got tickets? How? The venue's been sold out for months. Oh. Oh. You know he was waiting the second they went on sale. He looks at the side embarrassed. Mm -hmm. He stayed up all night. I don't yet, but... Oh, you're never getting in there. No. He leans forward eagerly. I heard there were some extra secret v VIP backstage passes available that allow you to meet the band. I'd, I would do anything to meet Citrine. Their brooding nature perfectly contrasts the bright phoenix attire. Did you know that they designed their guitar on their own? They co-wrote the lyrics for the biggest hit, and that they've collaborated on makeup with Burl. Got them off before they can regale you with the full encyclopedia of Christine. I like that they're using gender neutral terms. They're not gendering anybody. Like they're kind of letting, I, I guess, the person to identify themselves, which is really cool. Seems very inclusive. Based on sunsets they've seen. Yeah, you might have told me that once or twice. And blushes bright red. Aww. Ha. <laughs> I guess I did. Yeah, you did. Dude, I bet we could find one of those VVIP 
Hazel the bat lets out a loud bat squeak, stopping you both in your tracks. You and Lena Leon look up to see a spirit block manifest out of thin air on the perch near the radio. Uh, another spirit appears, and another spirit pops in soon after it. Okay. Then another, and another, and another. Spirits? How did they get in here? We're within the city barrier. More spirits appear, scattering pages of land sketches all over the floor. Ah! What are we? I, I don't know how to say that word. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, we got this. Let's make it interesting swap against each other. This doesn't seem like a fair fight, but you're on. Okay. Match three. Um, how do I rotate direction? I can't. Oh, okay, got it. Watch well, just left and right. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, Habibi. Oh, okay, that's Arabic for friend. Uh, lose, run it back, press any button. Wait, which side am I? No, I'm this side, yeah. This is very tough to do with a controller, mind you. Oh, nope, did that one wrong. Okay, well, we got that one sorted out. Uh, I guess we'll do that. Oh, oh no, there is a bar there now. Okay. We need to lower this. Alright, that should work. Okay. How did I lose? I'm pretty sure I'm controlling the left side. Am I not? Am I Leon? No, I am not. I don't get it. Do I just not have enough points? Uh, hello? Do -do -do. There is nothing I can do. It looks like. Can I keep moving things? Oh no, I did that wrong. Do I just have less points? Am I just really bad at this? I don't- I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I- I am matching the things. You can't go up and down. Oh, this- this is it. Oh, you can swap with an empty space. Cool. Pepper, no, no, no. It's okay, honey. Don't worry. Phew, thanks for the help, Samar. I... I don't know what I did there that was good. Okay. Of course. It's quite literally my job. I owe you one. Wait, those spirits... I never appeared like this before. I should look into it a little more, since I'm in town today. Oh, are you heading over to Moe's? She has been a little upset since her breakup, so you knew would cheer her up. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. Good luck with your design. So you bid farewell, and you exit Leon's parlor. Frago in tow. Oh. I could do more. Okay. 
I I'm still not quite sure what I was doing, but... Okay. You knock and let yourself into Mo's apartment, but no one comes to greet you. A hazy veil, purple smoke, and is lingering in the living room, but that's nothing unusual here. You've been friends with Mo since you were kids, getting in trouble for brewing the grossest stuff. She ended up specializing in herbal concoctions, potions, and teas, whereas you went into coffee cup divination and swapping. You feel a little guilty for not being there more for her after her breakup. No, it's okay. You can be for her now. It's not too late. Momo! Zamora, hey! Oh, you cute! She beams at you and beckons you into her living room. You smile and sit down beside her. She seems pretty cheerful. Huh? Maybe Leon was wrong. So, what's up? How are you? Oh, haha, <laughs> nothing much. What about you? So, uh, she's deflecting then. Alright. Nothing big, just that I was hanging out with Leon earlier and some spirit showed up out of nowhere. Oh wow, same, yeah. I just had to swap some out of my bathroom. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Spirit blocks were just bursting out of my bathtub. It was wild. I was doing a little self-care, a hot bath, my favorite playlist, and you know, you know how it is. As she talks, you notice a stray movement out of the corner of your eye, a few feet behind her. The bathroom door creaks open, and a pile of spirit box tumble into the hallway. Uh, Mo? Uh, I don't think you got all of them. What? Point to the hallway where spirit blocks are now flooding out of the bathroom. Ah, oh, just what I needed. Don't worry, Habibi. I got this. Okay. So do we need to get rid of all of them? Is that... Oh, I did that one wrong. Ah, uh, okay. What can I do here? Um... I can move those. Cool. And we can swap out. Okay, let's do that. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, I need three hearts at the bottom. That's what that is. So I need to win three times. Okay. Um, seems fine. Oh boy, uh... Oh, that turned into more blocks. I don't think that was helpful. Okay... Uh... Yeah, that'll help there. I really need to get some stuff on this side, though. Oh, okay, never mind. Looks like we won. Yeah, have baby. All right, so we need one more win. Okay. I do like that you can keep swapping. That it's not like a one and done. Like if it doesn't match, that you have to then um, just like stop. Hmm. How do? Uh, not sure on that one yet. Cool. Really need to deal with something here. Oh no, it's fine. Okay. You'll be relaxed back onto the couch after you finally manage to clear the hallway. Another day in the life of Samara the Master Swapper. I'm gonna get Leon to tattoo that on my chest. <laughs> Both laugh at the absurdity of that and that you can almost see tension leaving Mo's body as she just relaxes entirely. How long has she been holding back? Hey Mo, are you? Okay. You're like very cheerful. Oof, that did not come out right. Maybe try again. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being cheerful. I'm all for good vibes. But considering what you've been through, it's kind of 
Weird. No offense. But doesn't speak for a moment. Her shoulders tense, then loosen again. For a few seconds, feel like a millennia. But she finally sighs. I suppose I'm worse at faking it than I thought. It's okay to not be okay. She sounds calmer. More like their usual self. But you hear a slight tremor in her voice as she works hard to hide just how upset she's been. Hey. Hey, it's okay. It's pretty hard to fake it around your best friend. They've known each other for what? Only all of our wretched existence? It wasn't all wretched, jerk. I laughed a little bit despite herself to smile softly and take their hand in yours. We're here for you, Momo. Don't hide your pain from me. We're friends. Through the good and the bad. Okay, so they're kind of just using pronouns interchangeably. Totally cool. We're not ready to talk about it just yet. That's okay. Mo squeezes your hand and offers you a small smile. Thanks, Samara. I'll get there. I think it's just been a lot. The breakup, I mean. We were together for over a decade. It's only normal to grieve. Ouch. Mo hugs you. You squeeze her as tight as you can. Thank you, bestie. You know I love you. You sit silently in each other's company for a while, feeling the comforting warmth of her hand in yours. After some time, she pulls herself up and breaks the silence. I think I need some time to myself. I'm sorry. I... You cut her off unnecessary apology playfully. That's it. I'll stop by later. We'll brew up something then, okay? It's a promise. See you soon, bestie. Maybe you hug again before saying goodbye, and you make sure there are no lingering spirits anywhere before you head out. Maybe you should check on Ishk, too. Okay. Oh, wow. This, uh, this demo is kind of long. Okay. Good seeing you again. Once you arrive at the beach, it's easy to spot Ishk. Kadar, uh, flexing next to their boombox among the beachgoers. They give you a big grin as soon as they see you. Oh, hey. Hey there. Hey, cutie. Are you here to perceive my perfect spectacular packs? Uh, sure. Always. No reason to beat around the bush. So, how are you doing? I wanted to check... Uh, up on you after your breakup with Mo. Oh. You're still friends with both of them? That's rough, man. Oh, me? I'm eating, chilling, being the best I can. Flex. World is ready for a piping hot dose of vitamin ishk. I'm smooth like water on a duck's back. H2O to the H standing for hunk. Uh, I hope everyone's thirsty. Oh. So, like, a decade had no effect on you. Don't think that's what the H stands for, Ishk. All that matters is that I'm back on the market. No pain, no gain. Am I right? Ow. I flinched. What was that? Nothing. Just a minor kink in my bootalicious back. Are you sure? You sounded hurt. I know you're worried about me because of the breakup. I'm perfectly okay. Spectacularly okay. Sure, sometimes I feel heavier than the boulders I deadlift. Sometimes there are more tears than sweat on some of my leg days. Sometimes my reps aren't giving me the pep that they used to. But all I have to do is outflex this funk. Ow! <sighs> That doesn't sound like you're okay at all. Are you absolutely sure you don't want to talk about anything? Of course, if I sound a little less than boobalicious, it's a little part of the process. Girl, stop, you're gonna hurt yourself. Can a hurt person do this? Cracks their knuckles before reaching for a rock almost as big as you are. Uh, it also covered in spirits. Wait, what? This is totally not difficult and not bodaciously agonizing. Ish, wait, spirits. Wait, spirits? 
I love the pony. So I guess the frog is like my familiar and like the I, I don't know if they're a boy or a girl. I, I think a boy, so they're a brony. I do love the pony though. The pony is the cute. Okay, we need to get that there. I need to get something moving here. And I need to get something. Oh darn. Uh okay, what's oh they lost. Woo! Woo, that was close. This would definitely be easier with mouse. Like, it's definitely a bit hard with the controller. Okay. Whew. Uh, what else can I do now? I guess I can swap those. Let's swap that and that. Let's get that down. Those. Oh boy. Um. Let's do some of that. Um. I don't have pink to go there. Honestly, I'm just gonna. Oh no! That was me losing. Oh, I was working. <laughs> yeah. Again, not not great on control. Like, you can see what you want to do, but it it's hard to, like, get things in place. See, I just totally missed there. There we go. Okay, because you can drop things on top of each other. Oh, boy. Um. Okay, I lost. It's fine. Phew! You really saved me, cutie! We'll settle on the beach sand to catch your breath. I wonder if this is a translation issue because not only are they repeatedly using non-gendered and gender pronouns, but they're like swapping them. Like sometimes referring to her or he for the same person. So I think it might just be a translation issue. Either way, I think it's cool that they're trying to be uh, supportive and like an ally in these sort of things. So I hope, I hope that they'll sort that out. We'll settle on the beach sand to catch your breath. Are spirit-centric workouts, like, a new thing? Or are they just attracted to the amazingness that is me? No, and also probably no. They've just been popping up all over town and I can't figure out why. It's driving me nuts. Don't worry. I bet you'll figure out why in the full game. Why are you talking about... Okay, so I guess this is the end of the down. That's a wrap. That's it for the demo. If you enjoy what, you, what we do, please take a moment to fill out our quick feedback survey. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, that's fine. Hope you guys enjoyed this demo. It is soup. It is cute. The characters are cute. Um, again, I think I prefer it with mouse, but that's fine. The controller works. Uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe by clicking the adorable sloth at the bottom of your screen, and I'll see you all later.